Hey there everybody, how's it going? It's Agent Nemitz. Welcome back again today to some more NBA 2K23 Next Gen My Career. Doing the pool party emote out here. Excited to see y'all back. Welcome back to another episode. It's actually been a minute since I've recorded this game here. Um, so I'm kind of getting back into the swing of things as far as what I have to do, looking at the daily stuff. There's so much more daily quests now. Uh, I did one already, but like, okay, we got Chris Brickley. I can keep going back there, even though I have mom mentality. Um, this Boris guy keeps showing up. He wants me to deliver flyers everywhere. Um, I can do fashion trivia like every day with Yolanda and Sabine. Um, Tina and Lance tripod challenge. I kind of want to try one of those just to see what it's like. Um, and the one I already did was, oh, what was it? Oh yeah, it was a selfie quest. So instead of doing them with just Lo Lozo, I almost called him Lonzo. With Lozo, there's I can do it with this Mort guy from Swags. I can also do it with Carl Beam from the hot dog stand. So there's a lot of options here. But I've also like because of that, I get you know photos completed quest, fifteen thousand MVP points. I got corporate level five. That's ten thousand MVP points with a couple of runway stuff. So pretty cool. We have over a hundred quests done now. That's pretty legit. Um, feeling pretty good about that. But all that being said, main quest is what I have on mind. Especially, we're getting our shoes today. Shoe delivery. Oh man, I'm excited. So let's go pick up these shoes. Then we're gonna go talk to Keon at OT Roadie about some pants. <laughs> and then we're also gonna go talk to Peter Abbott at Perco Latte. So let's get to it. All right, we literally just had to pick up the package. I think that means they're in my inventory now. So let's see. Go to the city. What do you think of my outfit, by the way? I, I'd be rocking a different outfit. I'd be trying to switch it up every episode. Not every episode, but every so often. Oh, yes, there we go. We got them. Oh, it tells you what it does. Oh, set bonus. ALR outfit. ALR MP shirt, Keon custom pants, vintage sunglasses, and Air Jordan 3's OG. Look at that. Okay, so there must be different outfits. Ah. Does this one have an outfit? No. But just over top, it has a set bonus. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and equip them now. They're brand new. So let's go ahead and equip the brand new shoes. And peace. I got ready. Hey. What's going on, man? I am so glad to meet you, man. I've been dying for a tete a tete with you. I am a fan of you, sir. Okay. Uh, you been in any games lately? Games? Oh, yeah. No. Why not? <laughs> I am not a fan of basketball, sir. I find sports to be a frivolous distraction. You look like you ball before, man. I mean, come on. Compliments <laughs> are good, but listen. <laughs> to each his own. We all can't have the same interests, but look, I'm a fan of you, the human being. Okay. Uh, All right. Thank you, Roberta. Thank you very much. And what you did for Carl Beam in his quest to find a home for his hot dogs. I mean, inspiring is an overused word, MP. So I'll say things like uplifting, heartening, motivating. <laughs> All I did was put the word out, man. I didn't do much. And yet you saved a man's life. All right. It reminds me of Shannon Sadler. Have you ever heard of her? No, I don't think so. 17-year-old entrepreneur. She developed a... New and exciting way to send electricity to northern Lapland regions of remote Finland, MP. I'm, what I'm saying is you are motivating me. <laughs> You've outdone yourself, gal. It's all for you, Peter. If, if you don't stop it. <laughs> Chef's kiss. Anyways, MP, what I mean to say is what can I do for you, my friend? Uh, I was actually hoping I could pick your brain for a little bit. MP, I'm an open book. Cool. Ask, what can I help you with? Okay, cool. So my agent, Ricky, huge fan of yours. As you um, should. <laughs> okay. Uh, he was hoping that uh, maybe we could have a sit down, you know, talk about some things to work on together kind of thing. Oh. Yeah, something like that. I like this Ricky fellow. Yeah, he's super cool. You guys would definitely hit it off. Okay, oh, let's, let's, let's take a seat and talk about this. I'm, uh... I have this leadership conference coming up. Yeah, okay. and I think it would be exactly what you need for you to harness the best versions of yourself. You see, at this conference, we'll teach you about the foundational mindset and what it is exactly that you're missing 
out there on the floor. Wait, hold, hold, hold on. Uh, I mean to cut you off, but I don't think I was clear back there. Huh. What I'm really, really looking for is a partnership. 50-50, you and I. Equals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, confidence is an important quality for a leader. For sure. And at this conference, not only will you learn about confidence, but you also learn what is necessary for you to be successful. I, with I, the mean, I also have a, 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 a lot of experience in leadership. I got that coming. You do? Yes. Okay. Do tell. All right. Um, where do I start? Um, okay. So I led a team of 18 to 21 year olds, collegiate athletes to a national championship before I even discovered that I wanted to be a national basketball player in the world's most competitive league. I mean, I mean, manifesting accomplishments of that level, of that quality, at that age, I don't know, man. <laughs> that's hard to find. No, no, that's, that's impressive and interesting. Which, which leads me to, to, to think of something I never thought about before. Uh, MP, what do you think about the leadership panel? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm? All right, I, I, I can dig that. Talk to me. What's it? Is it like an open audience kind of vibe to ask you questions? Yeah, yeah, more or less. Um, it's a, um, <clears throat> a group of highly respected individuals from a diverse set of backgrounds having an open and honest conversation in front of a live studio audience. Mm? That's fire. That's fire? That's fire. Uh, you know, MP, I'm, I kid you not, sir, I am thinking this is prophetic. You know, Sandin, Sadler's parents just called me, and she's been grounded. You know, she stayed out late on her curfew, and I have been looking for someone else to fill in this panel. And if you would be willing to post about this on your social media and bring a new audience to this thing, I think there might be a spot on this panel for you. That's it. Just post. Just post. Man, you ain't say nothing but a word. A word. Watch this. Done. Done? Done. Just like that. Just like that. Hey. Come on now. All right now. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh, okay. All right. You know what, MP? Th this is good. You know, good or bad, win or fail, whether you fall flat on your face, this will allow us for us to see exactly what it's going to take for you mm -hmm. to take the next level. And those are the words I live by, Petey. Truly. It's Peter. The name. It's, it's Peter... I didn't mean any disrespect by that. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Um, so just have your team email my team the details, and we're good. I'll be there. We're good? We're good. Ah, c'est bien. Okay. Good. Let's do it. <laughs> Yo, MP! <laughs> What's going on, What's up, man? man? I'm chilling. Oh, I gotta tell you. Yeah, yeah. You were giving them the business last I night. Did, I did a little. I did I, man. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Your hands, bro. Where you get those from? Those joints are fire. You like these? Yeah. These the these the Keon specials. Yeah, I made these joints myself. For real? Hey, yeah. man, you should be selling those, man. Not being behind this counter. Uh, I appreciate that, but it's my mom shot. This oh, is okay. important to me. It's beyond point. For sure, for sure. Hey, man, family business. I fully respect that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we grew up humble, so she taught me how to sew. So. Kids used to clown me from wearing homemade stuff, and mm -hmm. she made them fresh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, your mom sounds amazing, yeah, bro. she is, she is. Hey, she's a fan of you, too, to be honest. And Slime. she wants a picture of you in the shop. Oh, man, we could definitely do that. Yeah. Hey, man, how about a picture for them pants? Hmm? You see what I did there? <laughs> oh, man, I don't know. They kind of my signature. And when I walk out on the streets and on the court, people recognize me for my pants. On the court? Yeah. So, so you ball, too? Come on, man, I got game. I'm Steph Curry. I can see shot. it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so, so how about this? How about this, then? Play me one-on-one, -on -one, and if I win, you give me the pants. Think about it. Come on now. I Man, I got game, but you in the NBA. How about this? You play me a horse, and if I win, you give a shout-out to OT Rody on the ground. Deal. Let's get yeah. that. Let's, Let's get that. Let's do that. <laughs> All right, cool, man. I got to play this dude in a horse. Whoa, what is he wearing? Okay, anyways. Um, well, I know that I can hit threes, so... Oh, well, all right, I might just speed through this because we'll see what he's going to do. Is he going to do some layup?
All right, it's time to end him right here, right now, green. Come on now, your turn, Wilson. K. Wilson, show me what you got. Bingo. That's the game. Guess I better stick to making pants. Oh, come on. Don't be hard on yourself, man. Hey, that's what I do for a living, brother. The huh. deal's a deal, bro. Got a couple of designs I've been working on. Check out these sketches. Here we go. This is the money right here. Okay, that's what he was wearing. Flower jeans. Not a big fan of those. Mushroom joggers. I, I like those. Let's go with that. Ooh, I like these, especially this one. Yeah? yeah? Well, dope, man. Let me get to work, and I'll send them over when they're done. I appreciate it, man. And good luck with your spot, bro. Thanks, man. All right, so I was having controller battery issues the entire game, so I probably didn't show you very much because it took way longer than it should have, but we did uh, win the horse, <laughs> and it says the pants will be dropped off at the next game, or after the next game. Where are my pants? That's a Lego movie reference. <laughs> and then it says we need the pants and the shoes uh for the next part of this thing so that's cool and we got to talk with the team we'll probably do that in a little bit um but perfect okay so we got everything pretty much done today that i wanted to so far um next we're playing against the warriors i've already played against them on camera a couple episodes ago Oh gosh, a couple episodes ago. If you didn't watch it, go check it out. I'm not going to play the same team over and over again if I already beat them. If I lose to them, I'll play them again. But we haven't lost yet. We're 13-0. and We already beat them by a lot. Go check out the video. But um, yeah, so I'm going to play them first. And then we'll come back and play against the Utah Jazz in the next little bit. But before we do that, we got to upgrade to 75 overall. And, uh, oh, also some badges. I got badges. Yeah. Let's go. I can't believe we got Giant Slayer on gold now. That is amazing. And, of course, we got, like, Fearless Finisher, Aerial Wizard, all that stuff. And we do have um, the potential to get these uh, starting now because we have enough badge points equipped. We just got to get five of them to even get one of these. Yeah, we don't even have five points, we have one. So for now, I'm just going to be upgrading stuff in here. Like, I'm going to go with Rise Up, because I remember that showing up quite a bit when I had it equipped for that one or two games. So that's what I'm going to put in my finishing badge. Then, honestly, we really do need to start upgrading, or I need to start upgrading my shooting more. Because I don't have enough, like, shooting stuff to get upgraded badges. All I can get is, like, bronze everywhere. So I got to start upgrading my shooting potential. Um, but those were the badges we're going with. Now, let's upgrade some attributes. All right, and here's what we're going with. It probably doesn't seem like a whole lot, but at 77 and 78, you unlock stuff in the ball handling category. Um, then the next unlocks come at like 84, I think, and I can max out at 86. So I'm going to be good with ball handling for a while. Um, and then I'm going to start upgrading speed with ball till it's in like 75 range. And then we'll start going towards some shooting stuff. Then after that, we'll probably go towards some defense or maybe max out acceleration or, some, or something like that. Maybe vertical so I can get some dunks. I don't know. There's a lot I need to upgrade yet. I mean, sheesh. But here we go. 75 overall. Can't upgrade anything else. Otherwise, it puts me to 76. Feeling good about that. All right, everyone. We just finished up the game against Golden State. Absolutely destroyed them again. I blocked Steph Curry like twice and Clay Thompson once. It was pretty awesome. So let's get this my player, my career game recap. 37 points, 8 rebounds, 15 assists, 1 steal, 3 blocks, 71% from the field. None of them were threes, though. None of them were threes. But it was a good game. Oh, let's go. Cap reach for that. We almost got a finishing badge. Wow, almost two playmaking badges. Let's go. Oh, 
Hyperdrive Core Challenge. Congratulations. Whoa, quick first step core challenge. You now have the ability to core the bronze quick first step and hyperdrive. Okay, cool. That is awesome. Love to see it. Uh, yeah, we completed... We have two uh, leadership goals now as well. I didn't know if I told you guys that or not, but those are both of them right there. You can see them and get 10 assists and then two alley-oops in a single quarter. We got it. Let's go. Oh, man, it was a fun, fun game. All right, so Ricky's saying we got a squishy package, probably the pants. Let's go. Pants acquired. Social media was kind of going crazy about us with that peter abbott panel thing i saw as well um shep was saying oh get a jump start on your coaching career all this stuff it's uh it's pretty interesting that they're roasting us for that um and i thought that peter abbott guy he was an interesting fella an interesting character indeed he was tonight's game an attempt by you to answer questions about your leadership Oh, without a doubt. Absolutely. Um, apparently, I need to make it crystal clear what I bring to this team, or people will anonymously question me, you know what I'm saying? So I'm hoping a game like tonight will, you know, silence those doubters. <laughs> so you think one game is enough? <laughs> you don't sound optimistic, man. No, but that's why I plan on doing this over and over and over and over again. You know, I thrive on proving people wrong, just like MJ. So this is great motivation for me. So, MP, do you think games like the one tonight put to bed concerns about your leadership? Uh, uh, not necessarily. I mean, leadership is something that you display at all times, you know? Not just when things go your way. So if I can bring this same effort, the same determination and the energy when things are going bad, I'll be a real game changer. And that's when then I'll be a real leader. Makes sense to me. Thanks, MP. Anytime. All right, there we go. Mushroom pants acquired. We do have to talk to the team as well, but I want to equip those things. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and upgrade quick first step to silver. We did get that core badge of bronze, but I don't think we can equip that and then also that yeah no we can't do that so we're not gonna do that yet we're not gonna worry about the coring stuff but uh yeah we did go ahead and do that and that's pretty cool we got that or actually no i was i'm gonna core this yeah i'm gonna do that i'm gonna go with that and now i have four badge points available to use which is awesome it's like okay unfortunately i can't get hyperdrive up yet uh or anything like that Let's go ahead and get Ankle Breaker on gold. Hello. Love that. And then let's give Floor General a try this year. I used to, in 2K20, I put that on Hall of Fame. I loved having that one. So that's a good change. And then for defense. And then I'm just going to throw out, throw on Box Out Beast for defense. Because we don't really have much defense stuff to upgrade. Um, but yeah, so there we go. What's up? What's going on? You know, I can't lie. I'm just a little bit nervous about this leadership panel. Uh -huh. nervous. A little bit. Okay, why though? You answer questions from the press all the time. No, no, no. I know I answer questions from the press, but they can literally ask me anything they want. Like, at least I know with the press guys, either I played well or I did bad or we won or we lost. With them, it's no surprises. With the other people, I don't know. You know, I can, right? I can go with you, man. I mean, if you want. And then you can introduce me to Mr. Abbott and we can form like a mutual mentorship program. Uh, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. This is a good thought, okay? You're right, this conference could make or break you in this borough. So, let's just run some potential questions. Ask some questions. Okay. Good idea. Yeah, yeah. good yeah. idea. Go. Good idea. Shoot, shoot. Okay. Um, MP, mm -hmm. what is the biggest challenge that you faced as a leader? Okay. Good question. That's a really good one. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's uh, getting a group of guys to think together as a team, mm -hmm. um, coming from different backgrounds, different motivations, mm -hmm. and success only comes from putting all that aside and can uniting under one goal. Uh -huh. How's that sound? That's fantastic. That's You're going to do something great. I would have written for yeah. you. That's, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, mm -hmm. High praise, high praise. Uh, unfortunately, we kind of got bigger problems right now. Oh, come on, man. What? what? Well, what you now? know how after you met with Peter, you posted, uh, super excited to be joining the keynote panel for Peter Abbott's Foundational Thinking Leadership Conference. Right? Okay, did I spell something wrong in there? Is, no, no, no. Did I use the wrong your? I hate that. I, I, people hate that. Well, no, I didn't even use your. No, what? no, no. It's... What is it? Shep just responded. 
Oh, come oh, on. Look, he said man. props to MP for getting a jump start on his coaching career. You know what they say, those they can't do, teach, and those they can't teach, coach. I always felt MP looked most at home on the bench. Ignore him. No, no, you can't ignore that. Not after yeah. we've established your image as somebody who puts people in their place. Yeah, right. Exactly. You, yeah. uh, I thought we were trying to paint MP as a potential business leader, not someone who's drawn into petty online beefs. Right? I mean, up to you, but I don't think people even care what Shep says. It's yeah, just all a game true. to him. Lonzo the Crown just responded with eyes emojis, so love it. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> yeah. Do nothing, and you lose all your online support. Not to mention, you're going to lose all the cred that you earn from those skaters. No, no, no. And we cannot have that at all. We cannot right, have look, that. Look, why you don't know you just I'm right. clap back at him for looking at your page so hard? Like, why you got my post notifications mm. on? Remind him who's got the championship Ooh, ring. That part. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tell him not to be so jealous that people actually want to hear what you have to say. Okay. Okay. He's a tweeter. You're a leader. Ooh, that's okay. good. All right. That's good. You know what? It is good, but it's also petty. Oh. I think you should say you, you would be honored to coach someday. I mean, you're all about lifting up the people around you. Uh, yeah, that's that's the more mature response. Boring. All right, look, honestly, it's up to Boring. you, man. So what do you want to do? I like what you said, Mela. Mm-hmm. I'd be honored to be a coach someday, because unlike you, I'm all about lifting up those around my community. Send. Nice. Mm, I'm starting to really enjoy going at that little knucklehead. Mm -hmm. That's that competitive Come on, right give there. me some, baby. All the grace got it. Uh. Clap back, Mel. Come on, Do come on now. Do play very well in the online sports space. Hey, okay. you feeling better about the panel? What you think, huh, Phil? Come on, talk about it. I feel it. good. Talk about I'm it. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to let him know, too. It's a reminder that it does take place after your next game, so don't be late. Really, Ashley? Really? I got this. I'm not going to be late. I got you. You've been late for a few dates recently. Oh. All right. Well, this is turning into a personal <laughs> issue, but don't start messing up now, okay? I got you. Okay. Hey, go get him, Tiger. I'll see you later. I'm going to go, but... All right, everyone. So I got the new pants on. I changed the shirt too, um, because I figured why not? You know, it looks looks better w with this outfit so far. Anyways, I like what we're constructing. It now says go see ALR in her studio, and I decided that this is just gonna be a like a cutscene storyline episode, since it's just kind of the direction that we're going already. So pulling up the quest here. That is the next thing we have to do there, and then. Um, the foundation the foundational thinking leadership conference is after the next game and then also if we win the next game we complete all the objectives for palace intrigue so far anyways um if we win it which we're undefeated so far so um yeah and uh yeah so let's go let's go finish out this episode going over there uh wow it's all the way over on the other side of the map that's gonna be fun <laughs> So, what do you think? Wow. I mean, I'm loving it. The pants, the shoes, everything. Yep. Now, all They're I need great. is a shirt to go with it. I mean, I've been working on some designs, but seeing you like this, I'm, I'm imagining something all new and totally hypnotic. Dig it. Okay, so, uh, I trust you on this one. <laughs> Shall I wait for your phone call? Uh, no. I think you had said something about boosting me. Yes, yes, yes. Because we need to get your clout up out here. Have you heard of Madison C.? Is that in Europe or something? <laughs> no, it's a girl. She's a TikTok <laughs> influencer. Whoops. Uh, if you were a kid in the city, you'd know her and love her and want one of everything she's wearing. Mm, so if we get in some ALR originals. Yeah, exactly. Okay. 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 I've got a teen line I'm trying to get off the ground. I'm going to use that to help finance my more avant garde designs. You know what? That's so. a really, really good idea because Thanks. teens Thanks. have a lot of disposable income. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, there's nothing more than internet influencers crave than actual celebrity. Mm -hmm. If you let Madison see your celebrity in exchange for her wearing one of my pieces. Listen, that is no problem. Uh, I can do that. Okay. 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 Amazing. I mean, look for the girl with the ring light and doing fun dances in public. It shouldn't okay. be too hard, right? Look with the girl f with the ring light in this huge city. It's not okay. that big. You can figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this. I'll figure it out. Okay. Yo, MP. What's good? You about to head to work? 
Well, I'm trying to, man, but my key card isn't working. And the weird thing is nobody will let me in behind them. They keep saying it's this new HR policy that you can't let anyone in without a card. They don't know who I am. How am I supposed to get in if my card doesn't work? Right. I, I wouldn't even mind that much, but you know, like it's one of, the, one of those things where I'm working at home, my paycheck stopped getting deposited. That's the big problem. <laughs> I got a wedding to plan. It's terrible timing. It's really, really terrible timing. The yeah. jugglers are asking for 50% deposit. Firebreathers is asking for first class tickets. My balloon artist had to cancel last minute because of a family illness. Do you have any idea how much it costs to get a last minute balloon artist? It's a big problem. Yeah. Plus, I left my favorite red stapler at my desk. I miss that stapler. It's sort of a good luck charm, and I want to have it for the wedding, but mostly it's the paychecks. I've got to get this sorted. I'm uh, giving out... Rolexes as party favors to everybody at the weddings, thousands of peoples. Wow. But uh, I've got to get my order in now and they won't make it in time for the wedding. Oh, hey, speaking of party favors, I've got a challenge for you. Yeah, okay. If you do it successfully, I'll give you a reward. All right, that sounds great, Ronnie, but hey, uh, sorry about the key thing. Uh, sounds like you may have a real problem on your hands. Oh, man, you know, I'll figure that out. Yeah. Don't worry about me. I'll be good. So I figured we'd come and talk to Ronnie because I found him... Uh, a little earlier when I was doing those daily quests off camera and yeah so we reached 75 overall which means I got the spawn location thing now reach 88 overall and I get the shirt off and I think it's at 90 I get rebirth so that's pretty cool um we're completing these Ronnie 2k quests I'm not gonna go and do the t influencer thing find the influencer in the city I'm not gonna do that yet not gonna do it yet. We're we're doing really good though. We're approaching, you know, we're approaching like getting a, a lot of stuff done. Like next episode, we'll start off with that influencer girl. Then we'll play play against the Utah Jazz. I think it's who we play against on camera. And then it's just gonna be a good episode. I just decided this one will be a more quest fulfilling episode again. But I hope you all enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to leave a like for me. Subscribe if you're new or haven't subbed already. I would really, really appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video, everybody. So take care, have a great day, and goodbye. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you click that big red button to subscribe right now. We'll turn on post notifications, everything, and then also click the top video to see my latest video and click the bottom video to see a video YouTube is recommending just for you.